This is a good conversation. I mean, dude, my thing, if someone's going to wash your ass, you know, if someone wants to do my laundry, knock yourself out. Yeah. If someone's wash my ass, I'll spread them. <laughs> Just do what you want to do. But if someone wants to fuck your ass. We got to talk. We got to talk turkey. <laughs> dude, that, oh my God. I was talking we got to talk turkey, cucumbers, pickles, <laughs> and hot sauce. I was just talking to my brother about this. So apparently, did you hear about the, I forget what it's called, but when they take porn stars and they're getting so good at putting celebrities' faces on the porn star. Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah. Yeah, Apparently, it's, awesome. it's up to Pornhub now to block it because people are being like, hey, like it's really Pornhub, weird. you got to stop it. Pornhub now is saying that it's up to the users to flag it. Oh. Yeah. I don't think the boys are going to be flagging too much. No, dude, of course not. <laughs> and my brother, dude, was at, it's a good point. He was like, dude, by the time my kid gets older, he's just going to be like, so you'll see a girl in school yeah. go home, put oh her face God. on a porn star, put on a VR headset, and just fap into oblivion yeah, about your classmate. Fuck a sex robot. Yeah, yeah, you'll be butt fucking a sex fucking robot. Like an awesome flashlight with VR. VR on. It'll be so funny too, because like to get caught jerking off in the future, oh, you'd be like, I-, "I was just scratching my dick." You have like a full like night <laughs> helmet on. You're like, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's fucked. You're in the helmet. You're getting the robot blowing you. You have like a girl from your class project it with a body you, on her. You get on caught, the wall. and you wouldn't even know you got caught. Somebody would just open the door and see you in like a fucking the VR chamber. helmet. Your mom comes <laughs> yeah. in. It's just another naked chick, and you're like, "What's up?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, now you got that's a that's a cool future. Getting, I'm excited for that. Getting caught jerking off is going to be just apocalyptic, dude. You're you're just I never like got totally caught. you're you, like you restrained. Never got caught, right? I got fucking close, man. I got caught lotion in hand. My mom walked in. I was just like, <laughs> put it on the chest. And was just like, Ew. Yeah, bro. You rubbed it on your chest, like what? While you were talking to you, like, all right. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I'm fucking dry right now. And mom was just like, where'd you get that from? And I was like, it was under Tom's bed. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we used to send, dude, we all had our own laundry baskets, or it was like, my mom did all of our laundry. She like told us to do it, we never did it, and then like, so we had like, Kevin had a laundry basket, Tom had one, Billy had one, we were, oh, all, in a, we were all in a room, oh, and come. I would fire one into a sock and throw it in Billy's laundry, so they would go down oh. to my mom, my mom would get his crust, my crusty sock with Billy's laundry. Oh, you're my, dude, having, having four sons, disgusting, and dude. she did the laundry, that must just be like... Just, uh, just literally, just wash and come. I mean, dude, I was just sending just like fucking crinkle just boxers. Just come. Down. Yeah, it was, it was just <laughs> totally. That's the laundry machine was just to wash cum out of socks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. Eventually, I remember she freaked out one day. She's like, "You guys have to do your own laundry." I remember being yeah. like, "What's your fucking problem?" Yeah, yeah. After so many cum socks, probably she was enough like, cum. All right, this is fucking gross. Probably got like a warm sock. I mean, it, it's like, like just got done. The first one you get is probably like. Boys will be boys. Then, like, your yeah. fifth pair of fucking cum dawn boxers. You start doing the math, and you're like, wait a second. I got four kids, 25 cum dawn boxers. It's been four days, and you're just like, ew, ew, My ew. whole house is just dudes <laughs> jerking off constantly. <laughs> and then I wash it and bring it back up to them. <laughs> jerk off back into it. Damn, dude, I miss when my uh, mommy used to do my laundry. Oh, it was the best, man. That was nice. I would give her – sometimes when they'd send me to clean my room – like, I'd have an old laundry basket that I just never put the clothes away mm-hmm. and just send it back down. Wait, what <laughs> like do you mean? With folded clothes in it. Just give it back to her and be like, yeah, hey, wash it. Why? You know when you clean your room and there's, like, clothes everywhere? Yeah, so yeah. So you just throw them back in the laundry basket? <laughs> oh, you would just be like, I would just it. pile, like, fucking folded, clean clothes back and be like, wash them again, bitch. <laughs> you just didn't feel like putting them away. No. So you just threw them back in the washing. Threw them back in. Damn, dude. I had a work ethic since I was a boy. Imagine if there was three more of you fucking coming onto that stuff. Three dude. more of me just nutting every. I never nutted into clothes. Really? No, not until not until later in life. Oh man, I would. But yeah, when I, I yeah, I used to, when I when I was a young warthog, <laughs> it was only uh, tissues. I was a big Ew, tissue. Dude. tissue. That was always gay to me. There's nothing gay about coming into something they get disposable. Stuck to you. They don't get stuck to you. You just wash. You, you throw they stick them to your the fingers. fuck out. They stick to your fingers. They've never once in my life stuck to my fingers. Ugh, I ever. think it's. I always felt really weird and like. I feel like whenever I come into oh, a right. tissue, so it feels you're like, like I'm jerking. wiping it up off yourself with the tissue. Right? Sometimes, sometimes, See, I, sometimes, I've always just gone condom. Sometimes I'm just blasting it into the, into tissue, the tissue. But sometimes it's not enough, dude. I'm like a fucking get fire hydrant. I'm a fire hydrant. Double tissue. Yeah, but then like you're holding your cum in a tissue. It's just to me, it always feel like I was gr- like jerking off in a doctor's office. If I came into a tissue, I always sometimes just felt that's gross. cool to think of. True that, but I'm all really? about. Yeah, I remember sometimes when I was young, you'd just let it loose. You don't yeah, have, bro. you don't need any barriers. My big thing was just firing them into the bathtub. I didn't know about shower slugs. My brother was like, you know, like that shit collects in the yeah. drain. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, dude. He's like, you think mom's down here chasing all your shower slugs, dude? You got to stop doing it. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah we just, got we got a roommate now that I think needs to learn about shower slugs. Really? I think so. I think somebody's. I think one of our roommates. Someone's gone. Maybe up the he works? listens. Dude has got a flashlight. And he needs to stop fucking cleaning it out in the shower. Oh, man. Yeah, you guys. Because I think those slugs might be. Oh, then they infuse with pubes, dude. And then the dude. water fucking carries up to your feet when you're taking a shower. Oh, it's, it's, just, just, it's just a cum, cum stopper, water. dude. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I. Uh... That's all in my head. What? I think. I mean, if you look down at those pubes, you I've see those out white before. viscous globs, dude. You well, know what they when are. You, by the time you clean it out, it's all fucking dirt. Whose cum is it? Yeah. The sink. No, those things. I cleaned out the chill. shower. And, no, I mean in the shower. Yeah, if you yeah. clean out the drain, like get into it, yeah, it it just looks like hair and dirt, and like mud. Ew. When in reality, it's Calm. my roommate's fucking flashlight getting cleaned out. Ew, dude. Ew. You should demand royalties on that thing. I might. I was demanding. I was. I might demand to borrow it. You guys should DP it. Yeah, I'll get the, I'll get the small <laughs> end. Go I'd feel good as shit. Yeah. Like a Chinese finger <laughs> trap. That'd be nice. That'd be sick. No, that's really fucking weird. Yeah, Especially because I'm a lot taller than him. <laughs> so it'd be at a funny, <laughs> You'd be fucking at pretty an funny angle. angle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what I was saying about being a serious guy. Like, imagine being a dad, a serious dad. Yeah. And your kids come over, or your daughter's friends come over. And then you have to confront those weird fucking thoughts. I mean, without a sense of humor, that's a weird fucking... It's tough, man. I With mean, a sense of humor, you can be like, when, holy shit, that's when you're crazy. utterly serious, the only thing you can think of is ascending in your certain thing. Like, if you're like super serious, all you can think of is like becoming you're at a job and you're like, got to become the fucking boss. I got to do it. Otherwise, there's nothing. If you can just fuck around and have fun, it's like, well, if I get a promotion, cool. If not, whatever. If not, fuck it. But if you're one of those dudes that just like, I got to get to the oh. fucking top and you don't get to the top, you start doing weird shit, man. Yeah. So, well, there's a, I don't know. It's start like, going to your son's baseball team, sitting on the other side, cheering for the other team. <laughs> that's a power move, though. Yeah. I mean, that's that sounds like something funny. <laughs> if they're grounded. Yeah, that's... Uh, but, no, it, it's... Dude, I'm telling you, I get more and more freaked out the older I get. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Dude, yeah. No one told you how fucking weird this shit gets. It does get real weird. No, I mean, my dad tried to explain to me when I was a youth, dude. He tried to tell me, like... What did he say? Get ready for it. He told me when I was, like... I was, like, 11. And he told me... uh he was all drunk, and he was just like, yeah, everyone you know just gets weirder and weirder, and you don't even know him anymore. And I was just like, really? 10, like, Jesus fucking Christ. Damn, he was exactly right. He was spot on, it's dude. I tried. Crazy how I actually, on accident, I, I went to breakfast with my mom and dad and Billy and his girlfriend, and I accidentally... Shout out, Billy. ...accidentally hugged my dad, or, like, went to hug him, because I was, like, coming out of the restaurant. I was just in my head all day, because I went to church. Like, my girlfriend got in cahoots with my mom. I was like, I'm going to go to church. Let us go to church with you. It was fucking Palm Sunday. So it's this long, epic fucking. Oh, so that mass. was this Sunday. Yeah, this it's was just two this days Sunday. Ago. Okay. And every time I go into church, it's like I just fucking feel weird when I leave. So I left. I get like weird tunnel vision when I'm in church, and I I can just stare at the priest, and everything gets all weird and fuzzy, and I'm just like, I don't like it, dude. It freaks me out. So then I get out of there. I'm in my head the whole breakfast, being like, God, what the fuck is going on? Why do we go to this shit? Blah blah blah. So by the time I leave, I'm so in my head that I'm like, I think I'm saying goodbye to my mom, but it's my dad, and I, I go to like. Hug my dad and then halfway realizing like, oh, fuck, I don't want to do this. And my dad literally just stuck an arm out and like blocked me, like, then shook my hand. <laughs> uh, what? You can't hug your dad? No, he won't fucking hug me. No. Oh, that's he literally, weird. He just went like this. I was like, he, he like stuck an arm out and kind of like blocked me over the shoulder. I mean, shoulder. it's hilarious that he did that, but why, he, why not? It's can't just weird. I've never hugged my dad, dude. Uh, I'll give my dad a hug sometimes. No, dude, it was fucking bizarre. I realized what I did and I was just like, and he just like put his hand out and we shook yeah, hands. Yeah, I guess I don't really hug my dad. I don't think I've ever done it. Since my mom's been like uh, trying to kiss me on the cheek when I leave. I kiss my mom on the cheek. You do the kissing? Yeah. See, I, it, she, I kiss she always aunt. misses and hits my fucking neck, and it's disgusting. Ooh. Oh, you're tall. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that on, like, oh, I did that to I Beezer's. It. I think I did that to Beezer's mom. I think I, like, kissed Beezer's mom. I at least hugged her. What? I, any old ladies, I just kiss them on the cheek, dude. When I see, like, my aunts, any of them, I, even, like... You're very European, dude. My mom's... Very Spanish. I'm very European. You do have that Spanish passion. I do, I do. Whenever, like, there's an... If I go to a funeral, I just see all these old ladies, I just fucking kiss all of them. You just make them. out with all kiss. these... You finger them? You ever finger a geezer? <laughs> Last funeral I went to, I just kissed some lady from the other <laughs> side of the family. <laughs> I didn't know who she was. I was like, how you doing? I gave her, like, a kiss on the cheek, and she, like, pulled away. And my mom was like, dude, that's fucking... Like your cousin's blah blah blah's in law, and I was like, oh my bad. Why are you kissing people? <laughs> I just if I see Stop old ladies, people. I kiss old ladies on sight. If I see an old lady, you get kissed. My on the grandma, cheek. who kind of sucks, I'll, I'll lay one. My on grandma her. fucking sucks, <laughs> and like I always, I'm always afraid to hug her because I feel like I'm just gonna shatter her fucking like shoulders and yeah. shit. But every once in a while, she'll go for a kiss. Again, I'm tall enough that these people always hit my fucking neck. 
Oh. And it's a real fucking gross. When you have your mom kiss you on the neck. That's fucked up. It's a real fucking gross moment. That's fucked up. But yeah, I, I kiss my mom, all my aunts right and away. And then you can't acknowledge it. You can't be like, ew. Yeah. Then it's like, what, did you think that was sexual, you fucking weirdo? Yeah, it's pretty weird. You can't be like, ew, get the fuck off. Dude, my uncle had a girlfriend for a while that like we were always excited to go hug and kiss goodbye. I remember being like, yes. Oh, I would yeah. save her for last. I'd yeah, there like, were a couple bye, of those. Bye, bye, Then I'd be like, yes. I had some friends <laughs> with some ridiculously hot moms. That was awesome. That is sick, dude. Damn. Getting a good hug, dude. Getting tight. some tits against your body. I want to feel those tits. That is when girls are like, they like talk about like uh, hugging in the workplace. It's like, all right, there's definitely some dudes out there fucking behind some the back dudes hug, giving some hugs. Coming up from behind, like, see ya. <laughs> oh, behind the back hug. That's tough. That's tough stuff. That's tough. That's dick against butt. No one's doing it's that. It's dick lower back hug. No one's doing that. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Not to my Not in girlfriend. Not place, dude. Thankfully, my girlfriend works at a kindergarten. She's so probably, getting, all, she's probably getting some hugs. It's all females. All the teachers. The little kids will fucking grope her. Little kids? She probably got her ass grabbed She said the there was time. this autistic kid that grabbed her tit the other day. Really? She was like bent down to like help him zip up some shit, and Snag he just it. reached out and grabbed her tit. <laughs> fucking baller move dude i thought about doing young that sheldon went up on my girlfriend Sheldon fucking got second he went base. up on my girlfriend dude i was thinking about this the other day how i'm just gonna tell my son he's retarded when i have a son i'm like yo you're retarded bro try your best tough it out that way like if he gets like mad he'd be like i'm a manager at amc i'm like dude you're the first retarded guy ever to be a manager at amc that's sick dude hell yeah usually you guys just rip tickets get stoked on yourself bro. just lower the shoulder <laughs> yeah, yeah. run forward dude you're gonna have a mike allstott type if he kid. graduates like community college i'm like dude you're the first that's retarded incredible. person ever to graduate community college man Way to go, kid. That's incredible. Thanks, Dad. I love you. You think he would develop the slur? You know how, know. like, when you're gay, all of a sudden you start talking gay? Yeah. With that lisp. And now trans, like, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he'd get I wonder the... if, like, you could be like, dude, you're retarded. He'd be like, what? <laughs> I, 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 I would that? hook him up to like, the Stephen Hawking's machine, dude. I yeah. want to have, like, a fake retarded Stephen Hawking son. So this is, like, a Mun- Munchild's? Mun- yeah, yeah, Munchausen, yeah, Munchausen syndrome, syndrome. Except of, it's just retarded. But it's purely calculated. It's, it's, it's just... It's purely, like, I want my kid to excel. Chuck, chuck him in the fucking... I want him uh, to be happy, so I'm going to tell him he's retarded. Yeah, but I'm going to put him in normal school. I'm not going to put him in, like, retarded school. Really? Yeah. That's risky. He's going to meet some friends that are going to be like, dude, you know you're not retarded, right? I'll be like, dude, don't those listen. Those kids are tricking you. Don't listen. to. I know those kids, they have good They're intentions, mean. but trust me. <laughs> what do you think he's gonna do? He's just gonna be happy with himself. <laughs> That's true. He's just gonna he's gonna be stoked on himself, dude. He's gonna be like, dude, I can't believe I'm a fucking assistant manager, right aid, chilling. I'm the best. That's what I was it. saying. I've said it a couple times about people with Down syndrome. It's like, boy, are they happy? Yeah, I mean, I guess they get frustrated here and there, but yeah, you catch him on a good day, man. Those, those, those fucking are dogs. Being a Christmas brat is where I might go home and brat out for Christmas. Being a Christmas brat stinks, dude. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, they, I just didn't get what I wanted. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. They got, they're still opening gifts. I didn't. I'm done with my gifts already. <laughs> I actually do that every year to my mom. Do you really? I tell her that she likes Katie more than me. That's fucking. And every funny. year Katie gets more. Well, because Katie always owns like a house or an apartment, so, so my mom gets, buys a ton of fucking yeah. that shit. I get like socks. My mom gives me socks. My mom calls me. She's like, "We're not doing a big thing for Christmas this every year. year. What do you? I can get you a gift. I'm like, dude, I, I don't want anything. Yeah, I, I know. Don't want anything. I know, and I even I tell her, I'm like, dude, I actually will take some socks. I'm at the point now where socks? I can definitely appreciate a new pack of socks. Socks and undies. Yeah. Uh, flashlight. That's all <laughs> I asked for. <laughs> a butthole flashlight. <laughs> dude, next time, yeah, next time my mom asks me, I'm like, I'll have a butthole flashlight, please. Please. Like, you asked. I'm telling. Hell yeah. Motherfucking butthole flashlight. Write it down. Write a list. Write a letter to Santa and just leave it at your parents. I might, dude. I've been getting real... Uh, Real frisky. I've been having real sexual kind of conversations around my family. Yeah, I don't think they appreciate it. Yeah, that's never good. Because my I I walked in. Have the you other been day. around people's families that are open about that? No, I don't think it's so. very. I have. It's very weird. No, I don't think I like have families actually. that make like sexual jokes. I don't think I have honestly. Yeah, well, I've I walked been around in a few. I walked into my parents, and they're like, you know, like my brother's usually there. It's usually a girlfriend's family. For sure. yeah, I mean, girl the house. family will joke about you fucking. Girl houses are very Dionysian, dude. You yeah. get in there and everyone's like, oh, it's cool. I've dated a girl whose mom was like, I'm going to leave you two guys alone. Have fun. And yeah. It's kind of like, yuck. Ew. I don't, what the fuck? I'm going to get her pregnant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just just on leave principle. us dude. alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. The uh, I walked in the other day and my parents were 
like watching a movie like nobody else usually there's like my brother's there my niece and like my sisters and stuff are all like kind of there every now and again and i walked in like real quick and they like looked over and i was like whoa my bad my bad and i was an empty house and there my dad was just like dude chill and i was just like yeah you don't want to bust up your guys little date dude. he used to do that to me dude when i was down there with the chick you come in and be like Hey, come on. What are you guys doing? Like, all that shit. I fucking yeah, yeah, hit him yeah. with, like, oh, whoa, forgot it was an empty house. That My must bad. must be pretty nice for dads. Bro. In hindsight, that's pretty... Well, ca- walking in on walking your... Walking in on a hot teen. Like, dude, I... Even though dad, it's with your boy. My dad caught me sucking titties, bro. Did he get to see the titties? I mean, she had a starter jacket unzipped and opened, and I lifted him up on my couch sucking titties. So he knew it was going down. <laughs> he knew it was going down. She had an unzipped starter. You were sucking teas. <laughs> I think she had an unzipped San Jose. Dude. She had a San Jose Sharks. You were sucking forget. teas. I forget exactly. It was, honestly, I think it was a flyer. I think it was fly guys. Obviously, I think she the had a black and orange. All, I think she had the black, <laughs> black and orange, and I was fucking sucking titties on the couch. I had like, like. 14 ounces of cologne on, just sucking titties. On the guy. I'd be like, Dad, my girlfriend's coming over, and the whole house would smell like fucking Adidas cheap. moves. Yeah. <laughs> that cologne fucking rules. I gotta start wearing more cologne. Adidas mo- yeah. We're just wearing cologne. And Tommy general. wears cologne. And Tommy wear was like, me. I can't even wear that. When he, he gets ready, nine times. Oh, I thought you were talking time. about Tommy wear, like the no. actual Tommy, Tommy, you know, Tommy gear cologne. Tommy wears cologne, and he sprays a fucking ton of it every time he leaves the house. Every time. And I'll, I'm always playing video games by the time he's leaving. What? Do you ever, like, like, do you ever, oh, do you ever bring it up? It. I'll cough. I'll give him some, like, oh, Jesus, man. What's what going is, on? What is he saying? <laughs> like, fucking, <laughs> are you playing video games again? <laughs> Dude, making fun of someone for wearing cologne is the like, easiest to make fun because he's yeah. just kind of like, bro, what, what are you doing? What, what, are you, what are you trying to do here? Yeah, are, you, are you trying to what fuck What is that? It? Perfume? Calling it perfume right away is the funniest thing. <laughs> like, Dude, is that perfume? Or call Sick. someone Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> Popey Le Pew. <laughs> Pepe Le Pope. Yeah, dude, making fun of clones fun because then it's on you, so there's nothing you can do. Or going to the mall and walking by the tester station and spraying someone unknowingly like 10 times on their back. That's the fucking move. Mm. So fucking funny. True. Because then they walk and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> and then by the time you get sprayed, it's too late. You've been hit. Dude, yeah. That's the best. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I cut my life into pieces I, that night, dude. I used, make, I used to make fun of my ex-wife for liking uh, Lincoln Park. Park. <laughs> and I was like, you only like Lincoln Park because your parents are divorced. And she'd be like, it's so fucked up to say. <laughs> That's true. If you like Evanescence, your parents are divorced. Yeah. It's a guarantee. Save me. <laughs> yeah, dude. I used to fantasize about my parents getting divorced when I was younger. Really? I wanted it so bad. You wanted it? I thought it was so cool when people were like, I'm going to my dad's house. And I'd always be like, I'd be like I'm going to my dad, my parents' house. I'm fucking, fucking bitch together. Bitch mom's there. Bitch mom's together <laughs> with them. I wanted my parents. They would be like, yeah, well, you know, I went to my mom's for Christmas and my dad's. In my head, I would be like, you got double presents, bro? And dude. they're like, dude, it's not like that. I'm like, sounds fucking sick to have, have divorced parents. Can you imagine getting a divorce, your parents getting a divorce like now? now That'd be they're old. so funny, dude. Them going on dates, though? Uh, How terrible that's, is that? Dude, that, that's... I can attest to that because that's I, brutal. I had a friend in college, you know, they're, they, his parents have been split up for a long time. That's when time, you start listening he, to Evanescence. Dude, he had a like, he was like in a dude's house basically. Who like it was like her mom's boyfriend. She moved in with her boyfriend, so he was in the, with this dude, and like he hated this guy. It don't make sense if some guy started dating my mom. I'd be like, dude, get the fuck out yeah, of here. Give it a rest, man. And he had to move into his house. So this guy's Ooh. trying to flex on you, and it's just like, no. Nah. So I remember we'd be down this dude's basement. I'm like, yo, this guy's fucking gay, dude. And he'd be like, yeah, I fucking hate this guy, dude. It was so funny. <laughs> like, dude, fuck him. Let's fucking shit up in here. You just got to take upper deckers every time you poop there. Nonstop. He, just, he was like, I'm never here. He just wouldn't, like, he just would, like, be there as little as possible. Oh, man. But yeah, well, you see my mom go on dates now, dude, I'd be like, oh. Just be dressing up nice. Uh. I told you about the time we smashed my friend's uh, mom's boyfriend's house. No. I didn't told you about that. I didn't talk about that on the cast before. No, I don't think. I never talked to hold you about that? Mm-mm. Dude, so this guy I know, I can not swear I said this. This guy I know, I he found out his it. um his, his mom was cheating. Okay. I never told you about this? Say it. And so he he like, you know, he sl- he was blocked from getting like a certain amount of like AOL used to put blocks on the thing. Yeah. So he got blocked from like his, he would have like time restraints. So he went to his mom's AOL to like reset the time restraints so he could like do whatever he wanted online. And uh, he went through her email and found like corresp- like sinful correspondence, mm. like you know cheating stuff. And he was like, "What the fuck?" Looked up the guy's name, found an address, and he's like, "Yo, I'm about to 
fuck this guy's house up. You want to come? And I was like, yeah, definitely. So I just, I just wanted to fuck the guy's house up for the sake of it. Yeah, yeah, It's like yeah. a doctor. So we went up there, dude, and we devastated this guy's house. Really? Dude, I, I put like a 40-pound planter through like a ornate stained glass window. Like we fucked it up. Wow. Fucked his shit up, got in a car, and we're like, later... And it turned out to like not be, you know, what we thought it was. And we what do you mean it wasn't what you thought it was? <laughs> well, like we we learned later there was just way more to the scenario. Like it was kind of like the the relationship wasn't open, but the that trust had been betrayed a lot on both sides. Oh, so like we just devastated this time. To <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy apparently we learned later had thought his son and his buddies did it. So this guy's son got punished. Got sent to like military hellishly. School. This guy's son got punished <laughs> hellishly because his dad thought. That he dead just ruined their house. Oh, it wasn't me, Dad. <laughs> he goes my saying, life in two yeah, pieces. Yeah, goes up to his room. <laughs> I just made one Lincoln Park fan in the world, dude. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> we fucked this guy's house up. Oh, my God. Well, it's funny because he was like, we're going to fuck it up. And he just like threw a beer bottle at it. I was like, dude, fuck this. Watch this. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> took out like a fucking. Oh, you idiot. Yeah, well, I was getting revenge, dude. I thought I was re- avenging my boy's dad, dude. True. Turns out he was getting sneaky, sneaky himself, dude. That was a wild crew. <laughs> I know. That's a shitty fucking <laughs> kid. That sucks for the kid. <laughs> like both my parents are fucking sluts. Instantly turned goth, though, dude. My mom's a slut, dude. <laughs> God damn it. That's fucked up. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm yeah. just thinking about dating. Like, dude. Some of your moms are sluts. Yeah. That, Not mine. Dude, exactly. A lot are, actually. Yeah, think of all the sluts you know. They exactly. Have kids they have kids. Same Facebook. I'm going to start an organization that like tells kids, Facebook. like, look, your mom was a slut. Facebook. Facebook. Kids are going to have that. I'm going to start PMing. When you get them. older, you're going to see. You're going to go back through some profile pictures and well, see you know, some like. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, you know, some old pictures. You know, back from the break, fully recharged. Uh, yes. What is up? Oh my God, we're back again. Am I sexual? I was dancing to that song one time at a, a marriage or a marriage at a wedding, and I was like really gyrating my hips. I turned around, I was like, "Am I sexual?" And like my mom was like right there, and I was like, "Oh, fuck, sorry, mommy." <laughs> I was like really getting into it. Oh man, did I ever tell you the time I saw my mom naked? No. All right, so <laughs> I I said I was leaving the house, and I went back in to get something, and the phone rang, and it was for her. Mm-hmm. So I was like. Yeah, she's upstairs. I was like, hold on. I was like, I yelled. I was like, mom. And she didn't answer. I was like, oh. fucking mom. Oh. And I didn't know she was just trying to get in the shower. <laughs> so I walked upstairs to her room, and the door was open. She walked out of the bathroom fully fucking naked. Yeah. It's happened to me before. Oh. It's the worst. I caught like a, a panty shot one time when I was younger, oh. like topless panty shot, and I was like, Bleh. I saw it out of, like I turned my head immediately. Full frontal? Yeah, I got old, but it was all out of the peripheral. It was all my periphery. Dude. But it was enough to know some things that I shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, your dad went on what? He probably took her out to like at least a fucking dozen dates for that, and you just fucking wandered in as a kid. <laughs> no, nah, I was pretty old. Really? It was old. No. Yeah, dude, I was really? like in college. Oh, that sucks. I, yeah. was, I was like nine. So I was like, old enough to be like, this is horrific. Fuck, what'd she say? She was like mad. She's like, get out. Get the fuck really? out of here. I, I handled it better than her. Jesus Christ! My one time, I was like, I started laughing. I was like, "Holy fuck!" <laughs> I don't know what. Oh man, I'm I'm really happy that hasn't happened to me in my adult life. You remember seeing your dad's dong when you were a kid? Probably. I used to bring the. I'd literally like Friday. I'd have to bring the phone into him while he took a shit. <laughs> He'd be taking a shit. He'd be like, "Get up here!" I'd be like, "Fuck!" And I have to go in, and just pinch my nose, and I'm like, "Here!" <laughs> Fucking big pasty thighs and belly leaning forward. I'm like, "Dude, this sucks." Yeah, I was. I remember seeing my dad's donger. I can't believe, I, don't, I, I mean, I had to have seen my dad's dick. I can't remember it. Yeah, I don't care when you're a kid, especially yeah. dude, like dudes from that time. Oh, I mean, definitely like peeing and shit in your urinals. Geezers and, do not yeah. give a fuck about dude, their dong. Geezers slash too. dong. Yeah. No fucking problem. That's because they don't know gay people exist. That's, <laughs> That's true, too. just like, <laughs> this is nothing. Dude. Might as well show my, this guy my elbow. My dad just got a pair of camo Crocs. That's like his new fucking foot gear right oh, now. Oh, man. And his, uh, his big thing was that like... He was, like, showing them off to me. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And he's like, yeah, I didn't get the blue ones. And I was like, why? He's like, the blue ones are gay. <laughs> like, Dude, all Crocs are gay. <laughs> like, he might have got camouflage ones. He's like, well, at least people will know I'm fucking straight. If Jesus I Christ. There was a fat dude that used to do stand-up in Harrisburg that used to always wear orange Crocs. <laughs> he fucking sucked. <laughs> 
Oh man, that's fucking. Sick. Yeah, I saw some dongage when I was young. Did you? When I was a young lad, I didn't peep a lot of dongage. Never saw my sister's naked. Thank God. That's good. I never have either. Never I saw, saw my that. mom's aunt one time taking a shit. <laughs> fully naked she was like 75 Damn. she'd get naked for the dump out she was yeah some people do that well, dude. you don't know either a lot, like of dudes. La- a lot of ladies that old wear fucking bras that are like the exact color of their naked body so maybe she had like a yeah. bra on but like dude it was like I just remember being little and thinking she was built like one of the the mom from the show Dinosaurs where they do like oh, Nakamama God. it was just like <laughs> I was like oh <laughs> Auntie Eileen I took her to Outback once oh, I had an Aunt Eileen did you? Yeah. This is my mom's aunts for my aunties. But we went to Outback one time when I was like 17 and I was high as fuck. She was, old, she was like an Irish immigrant. Yeah. And I brought her back. I went. I was playing rugby and I came back from a game. I got super stoned. Rugby is like, gayer than blue crocs, by the rugby's way. Rugby's fucking sick, Rugby's dude. for white dudes rugby's that suck the, at real sports. Rugby's the camo crocs of fucking sports. Rugby dude. is for guys who can't play football. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead with your story. I left the team. Anyway, so <laughs> I was playing. <laughs> I got back from playing rugby, and uh, me and my we'd all yeah, it isn't really a real sport because we would get stoned after every game, sometimes before practice. And uh, so yeah. like, I come back, and my, it was the last night. My auntie Aileen would watch me sometimes. My parents would go away, so it was like I would drink beer in front of her. It was just I did whatever yeah, I yeah, wanted. Yeah. I'd fuck my girlfriend in the other room. It was just a pure fucking Jeez, blast. Man. It was fun. So yeah, <laughs> jeez. So the one time I didn't know, I didn't think she knew what the fuck I was doing. Yeah. So we went out to dinner the one time, and I'm stoned to the fuck. Like I was stoned to the point where like I was trying to put sweatpants on out of the shower and was like, oh, like falling over. <laughs> and I come downstairs just like out of my mind, and she's sitting there with like a little umbrella all dressed up, like you said me to go out to dinner, and I'm like, oh fuck. Oh, so fuck. me and this, me like this 70 year old Irish lady hopped in my Ford Explorer, drove to Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> She fucking. She, my parents gave me like seventy bucks in case we went out to dinner. She fucking crushed the whole tab. Damn. She ate like appetizer, soup, entree, dessert. Damn. And I had to sit there the whole time with this old lady, just like out of my mind, just like, oh my god. My grandma crushes food. Does she really? Yeah. She fucking. <laughs> she ate all the chicken parm that one time. Really? I still haven't forgave her for that. I came back over to my parents' house to get the leftovers. She was oh like, yeah, they're yeah. gone. They're gone. I was like, all right. It's that fucking Great Depression mentality. And she, boozes hard as fuck she's Dude. a geezer that fucking boozes they're built better than Just us a glass apparently of people our age are getting colon cancer a lot really yeah we're fucked i'm on a fast track are you my butthole's a mess yeah is it really yeah push out farts all day i've been farting bad lately well, you-